How's it going, everybody? I'm Firebro999, and we are back with another Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 Spotlight video. This time, we get to see Squidward in action. So, as with the last video, we're going to react to it in full, and then the second time around, I'm going to replay the video, and then we'll pause and analyze. So, what's interesting about this is this is our very first newcomer spotlight. Unlike SpongeBob, he was a veteran, so we got to see the changes that they did with him. But this time, it's a completely blind experience, which is what I'm very excited for, because Squidward is an absolute funny character in the series, and I would love to see how he's represented. So, without further ado, let's begin. Everyone's favorite neighbor, Squidward Tentacles, is the first character new to the Nickelodeon Oh, they got the same guy as uh, last time. We'll be covering in this okay. Of character spotlights. So he has a future he taunt and a headbanging taunt. He has Band Geek's outfit. He into a huge speed boost and damage buff. As well as plenty of artistic talent. He has We Fit Deep Breathing? Show that he too can tussle with the best. He has Bowser first, Jr.'s up special? Squidward's That's crazy. Attack. Squidward's light up attack is a bit low range, but it is also equipped with some invincibility, making it a great anti air that can wow. also start I love how he has so now many light attacks light is on that is his side. dance from the Krusty Krab. That is amazing. Powerful spike. So you better give Squidward the respect he deserves. I saw the tea bag, Squid bag. Attacks, you might be able to recognize each of these from some memorable moments in SpongeBob. Yeah, I love that. Moves, a delicious Krusty Krab pizza. And what? Krakatoa. Squidward's light aerials are integral. He has the combat, freaking. And his light forward and up aerials are both multi. -head the pizza to the face side. Down to strong. His down air is a spike. The door. Besides being a beautiful display of artistry in the form of movement and rhythm, his new look how. Oh my God! I love how crazy his animations are. In case you didn't notice earlier, Squidward is in fact capable of performing double jump cancels. If you what? An aerial within the first few frames of performing a double jump, Squidward will accelerate back towards the ground immediately, allowing him to do attacks. Close he has double. What? To change directions if you hold left or right. Squidward's down special allows him to channel his blind anger into something a little more helpful. After leaving himself vulnerable for a few seconds, oh my God. speed and damage output are He has We Fit Deep Breathing. Making it what is going to happen if you enough. use your slime meter with those that? combos that you saw earlier naturally become far more devastating. I don't want to say it now, specials include his clarinet, but which fires projectile that gets stronger the is he going to be broken? And a side special, Artistic Genius, which pulls a random painting from his portfolio. Different effects? Different paintings have different strengths. What? He has Judge? There's also, of course, his up special. Squidward hops on his bike, which immediately explodes and sends yeah, it's, it's kind of like Bowser Jr.'s up special. That's all we'll special. show for Squidward this time around. So make sure to give him a try. Wow. So bold or brash enough to make his talents shine. So that's his super. It has to be. Okay, I I, it, I predicted that as much. Um, So that is it for the Squidward Showcase. I kind of wish these were a little bit longer, but I'm guessing they're going with a more quick style just to get straight to the point, you know? So I can respect that. Um... Now we're going to go back, watch it again, and pause and analyze everything, because from what I'm seeing, he has a lot of very interesting mechanics going on here. Everyone's favorite neighbor, Squidward Tentacles, is the first character... That future taunt is incredible. Brawl to cast that we'll be covering in this series of characters. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> this headbanging taunt. Also, Krabs looks mad as hell. Maybe he gets... I don't know what... It's probably just randomly animated but like i wonder if he reacts differently uh depending on what the characters are doing so if you're idling maybe that'll get him mad i don't know also i love how uh more goofy patrick looks <laughs> that's adorable picture spotlights with unique movement options available at his disposal okay yeah he has the band geeks costume and the painter one we all saw that from the very first trailer uh, what I'm wondering though, I know there's an ultimate edition that's going to be released with like, it comes with all the costumes and the DLC as well, or there's three different versions coming out. Are the, are the, is the base game going to have multiple costumes or is only like one costume going to be free? Because if that's the case, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, the costumes look nice, but I'm wondering how they're going to handle that. We'll find out. Vein popping anger that can be channeled into a huge speed boost and damage buff, as well as yeah. plenty of artistic talent. That Squidward deep breathing mechanic. That too can tussle with the best. 
first. Yeah, the slime canceling into the uh, freaking uh, the painting move. I love how that has different effects, though. That is so funny. So which one is going to be like the Game & Watch 9? I'm actually curious. If bold and brash... Let's quickly... Okay, it doesn't look like that's the strongest one. I think bold and brash should be the strongest one. <laughs> that's just me. Cover Squidward's basic you throw your opponents in the trash. Squidward's light up attack is a bit low range, but it is also equipped with some invincibility. Yeah, crabs looks mad as shit. A great anterior that can also start combos. Okay, what is that? Making it a great light fair. Start combo. Yeah, that hits like three times. It looks like the up down light, like the light up air uh, hits a little incredibly powerful spike. Uh, multiple so times too. Give Squidward the respect he deserves. He has an interesting taunt. Is that another taunt? I said he has an interesting taunt. He has an interesting spike. I'm gonna assume that's another taunt. So I'm guessing each character has three taunts now. That's pretty crazy. As for his grounded charge attacks, you might be able to recognize each of these from some memorable moments in SpongeBob. Love that. Love, love that. Moves, a delicious Krusty Krab pizza. And of course, Krakatoa. Yeah, I saw a Krakatoa. What's it called? I don't remember the name of that superhero. I, I, crab. I'm going to remember sometime. But I saw in the very first trailer there was an alternate costume for this too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Squidward's light aerials are integral parts of his combo game. Yeah, the forward air hits multiple times. Multi-hit attacks that can be used to drag opponents down to extend your punishes. So he's a good aerial combo character. And besides being a beautiful display of artistry in the form of movement and rhythm, his neutral air also boasts plenty of range, which can help him assert dominance in the air. Look at that. In case you didn't notice earlier, Squidward is, in fact, capable of performing double jump cancels. That is insane. Within the first few also, cool, Urkin Armada, Armada is back, and it looks like it's not a battlefield anymore. It's, like, completely flat. Uh, I, I guess this is, like, the first legal stage we see. But I'm also, like, are there going to be multiple versions of each stage? I, I just... We'll find out, but um, it's still something I'm very curious about. Squidward will accelerate back towards the ground <clears> immediately, <throat> allowing him to do attacks closer to the ground, and even quickly change directions if you hold left or right. Squidward's down special allows him to channel his blind anger into something yeah, a little more helpful. After leaving himself vulnerable for a few seconds, Squidward's speed and damage output are increased dramatically, making it easier to find an opening or secure a knockout. And those combos that you saw earlier... So what is... If you use your slime on that to boost it, what does it do? Does it make the effect last longer, or does it make you even faster and stronger? Because if you can use that rage thing and you could slime it, will you be able to keep stacking it? Because that seems kind of busted, but maybe it's going to have something completely different happen. Hmm. Naturally become far more devastating. Squiddy's other specials include. Let me back up in case I like completely miss something. Knockout, and those combos that you saw earlier naturally become far more devastating. Squiddy's other specials include wow. his clarinet, which fires a projectile that gets stronger the longer you hold the button. Oh, that you could hold and uh, do a more powerful. Uh, stronger the longer you hold the button. Blast from that. That's cool. And a side special, artistic genius, which. I want to look at these paintings, actually, because that's funny. And I saw what looked to be, okay, <laughs> a portrait, a self-portrait. I'm guessing these are his parents. And a side special. Oh, my God, him and the sea bear. <laughs> Great. And the bold and brash, obviously. It was a random painting from his portfolio. Different paintings have different strengths. Okay, it looks like there are three different ones. There's Gonna assume one is weak, one is medium strength, and then one is like super strong for no reason. Also, of course, his up special. Squidward <clears throat> hops on his bike, which immediately explodes and sends him flying. That's all we'll show for Squidward this time. Okay. Around. So make sure to give him a chance. And handsome Squidward is a super, of course. To make his talents shine. All right, so that is it for the Nick Brawl reaction for Squidward Spotlight. I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction. I actually really do like how they uh, 
represented Squidward this time around. He has a lot of funny moves, and I love how he has the Wii Fit deep breathing mechanic. I was not expecting that, but he looks very cool, and I'm very excited to try him out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time and for the next Spotlight Reaction, because I'm going to react to them all. Bye-bye. To be sure to subscribe to Fire Row, or I'll send you to the Shadow Realm.